Hey guys, we wanted to take just a second today and talk about something that we're going to plan on incorporating into our Sunday open gym slot. Most of you know now that Rob is our primary coach on Sundays. Remember, our Sunday time slot has switched from noon to 11 a.m. So we have our normal CrossFit class from 11 a.m. to noon, and then we have a built-in hour-long chunk of open gym after that. And we've had some athletes stick around during open gym. Maybe they've made up a workout from earlier on in the week that they wish they had been able to do. And uh, we've been getting a lot of questions because Rob has been kind of, I wouldn't say heading down a different path with his training because there's a lot of carryover between the two sports, but he's been dabbling and experimenting a little bit with something called High Rocks. So I wanted him to talk with you guys a little bit today about what that is and how we plan on inc incorporating that into our Sunday open gym spot. Uh, thanks, Justin. Right. Um, so about two weeks ago, um, I went up to Chicago and I did a High Rocks race. It's an actual race. It's not, uh, it's not like your standard CrossFit competition. Um, and I, I came back and I've gotten a lot of inquiries, a lot of questions about what exactly High Rocks is. Um, so I've explained it to, you know, three or four people individually. Um, but right now I want to explain it to the rest of our community. Uh, High Rocks is a race and it's compromised of a one kilometer run followed by a functional movement that we've all done here in CrossFit before. And it's done eight times. So you're gonna run, do a functional movement, run, do a functional movement uh, for eight times. And a lot of the functional movements we do here in the CrossFit gym. That's why the CrossFit training carries over into High Rocks so well. And you'll see a lot of CrossFit athletes do High Rocks and, and vice versa. Um, you'll do sled pushes, you'll do sled pulls, you'll do burpee broad jumps, you'll do rowing, skiing, wall balls. Um, those are all the functional movements you'll be doing with running. So uh, Justin was gracious enough to let me start uh, implementing high racks training into our open gym session on Sundays. And um, what this is gonna compromise of is um, higher time domain workouts you're going to see 25 minute to 60 minute workouts because Hyrax is more on the endurance side. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to start programming these workouts. They're going to be put under the auxiliary portion in Wattify. I'm going to try to have those uh, put on there Saturday afternoon, Saturday night. So we uh, everybody kind of knows uh, the workout. Um, and if they want to do the CrossFit uh, workout that was programmed for Sunday in open gym you're more than welcome to do that but I myself am going to be doing the high rocks workout training that day and anybody that wants to join in is more than welcome uh, I just wanted to let you know that um, there will not be uh, coaching during this portion um, if you have questions on how to scale a movement or uh, anything small like that, I'll be more than happy to help you. But this will not be like a normal CrossFit class with coaches watching you. This will be a good time to test your endurance training, especially with the open approaching in less, maybe three months from now, I believe. So uh, thank you to Justin for letting me do this. I hope uh, I get some people that want to test their endurance. Um, and you have an opportunity to sign in on Wattify as well and put your scores in for these particular workouts. Yeah, I think the last thing that we wanted to address, Rob talked about how there's not gonna be any formal coaching going on during the open gym time slot. Um, he's gonna be writing these workouts not necessarily in conjunction with our weekly programming through CrossFit. So, we wanted to let you guys know that there is a possibility that you might come in, do a high rocks event on a Sunday afternoon, and maybe it has 50 burpee broad jumps in it, or maybe it has a bunch of walking lunges or something. Just know that that doesn't necessarily mean that those movements will be off limits. 
the beginning portion of that week. So you may come in on a Sunday afternoon and you do a bunch of perfect broad jumps and some lunges. Those movements might show back up on a Monday, a Tuesday, or a Wednesday. I will try my best to kind of accommodate the weekly programming so that we're not just double dipping on movements all over the place. But we did want you guys to know that if you come into that Sunday open gym time slot and you do a bunch of movements, that that doesn't necessarily mean that those will be off limits at the beginning portion of the next week for programming. Um, and the last thing I want to say is that the, the, the race that I went to in Chicago was probably one of the funnest fitness events I've been to. Um, in my personal life, I've done mud runs and uh, Tough Mudders and uh, 5Ks, half marathons. I've done countless CrossFit events, and this was probably one of the funnest events I've ever been to. So I wanted to kind of um, let you guys in on this awesome experience, and hopefully down the road, you guys will also want to try one. And um, yeah, I mean, maybe we can maybe we could do one as a box. Right, a correct. To sign up together for, when was it, Chicago? Do they have another one planned for next year, do you know? They're planned all throughout the year. Um, they're a little bit bigger than CrossFit events, so there's only one you, per city, usually, and they're usually about two or three weeks. Uh, they're spaced out in two to three week chunks. Um, uh, but they're, they're really fun. Yeah. I would encourage anybody that wants anybody to do them they're great yeah we have people do 5ks we have people do half marathons we have people do powerlifting, olympic weightlifting i mean that really what is what crossfit is right like constantly very functional movement performed at relative intensity you know what we're trying to do is increase work capacity across broad time so like what rob was saying the endurance format across broad time and modal domains so I really feel like High Rocks will fit in well with our box. Thanks, Justin. I appreciate it. You're welcome, man. All right. See you guys Hope there. See you guys Sunday.